Hello there, I am Dr. D2 and welcome back to Detention. If you're seeing this, it means I was able to find a different ending by going through this chapter. Good for me! I haven't seen it yet, actually, so I'm about to go answer those questions again, because I think I screwed them up. See you when I get to them. Fang Ray Shin, what do you fear the most? Losing myself! Believe that we are all born free, eager to walk on your own path and afraid of losing yourself. You are me. Okay, first one complete. All the attention turned to unwanted scrutiny, so you chose... It wasn't grim acceptance. Now that I've seen you a bit more, it's like you chose to escape by going to the counselor. Try that. The world is immeasurably vast. There is always a place to hide. You are me. There we go! With, 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 with you following him, what ideas do you hold? Take hold of your destiny. Next to him, you found yourself. You are me. Three! I really hope this is getting me a better ending. You've lost everything you can depend on. What choice will you make now? Take them back! You are me! Still grim. Really nice cloud effect now that I look at it again. Huh. There's a paper here now! It's not a girl telling me that things are wrong. This is different! Yes! Better ending! Maybe she will accept her fate and no longer haunt the school? Ooh. Open the door. Cheng Minghui, you are suspected of spreading anti-government propaganda. Smuggling banned books and organizing illegal gatherings. The court has already obtained the necessary evidence. We now arrest you on the grounds of rebellious activities. Do not resist on pain of death! Looks like it'll be a diff it'll be difficult to escape this time. Fine. Take my head so that I may join my brothers and sisters in death. Sigh. Why? Aren't people born to live freely? To think openly, to speak their minds without restriction or fear. Freedom of belief, love, and self-realization. Being with you was a happiness of the simplest and purest kind. I couldn't help but think. When we could be hand in hand living an untroubled living an untroubled life. But in the end, this is only a fool's dream. I am I too am vain like the daffodils, fixated on my grandiosity. The world is not ready for the likes of us. Still a bit too fast there. Let me progress it at my pace. Although, you might want to time it to the music, I guess.
dude. Oh. It's him. I'm controlling the old man. I'm controlling... I'm still pretty sure that's Way. Alright, Way. Let's go see what's going on at school. Uh, and for the record, I did look up about it. I realize now this is taking place during the metal outing for laborers. Alas, to be demolished. All to be demolished. Yeah, it's taking place during the, um... Yeah, the martial law of Taiwan, which ended in 1985, so way before my time. That's why I don't know about it. Barred from the heavens and hampered from the underworld. Alone and wandering forever she goes. Wait, are you saying she's... Pitiful. Wait, what? What do you know, old woman? Yeah, way before my time, though. 38 years of martial law from what I read, which is just insane. But ended in 1985. Which is probably... Wait, what does this notebook say? Ah, amnesty certificate. A certificate of amnesty. Name, Wei Chung Ding. Type of pardon, amnesty. Crime declared invalid. Yes. Thought I would rot in jail. I didn't expect to live past martial law. People say I am a victim of politics. My crime was written off, but my youth is long past. Something lost can never be regained. They said 15 years, but they probably just kept you in there. That's horrible. Letters from home. A yellow letter. My son Chong Ting. Even though I witness sickness and death on a daily basis, it still fills my heart with grief. Your mother's disease was utterly untreatable. I can only hope she die without worry, without pain. A person's body can be physically locked up, but your mind is always free to go where it pleases. Father, hopes you can still get some peace in mo of mind in this situation. Stay warm, stay safe. Your father, Jashin. Eventually, mother still passed away. Father didn't take it well and had to take a break from his clinic work. His writing words were spirited away and his written words were spirited and calming. They supported me during my darkest days. Oh, this is going backwards. Ah. Uh, yeah, 15 years jail time. 15 years of my life were taken away by a piece of paper. I can still clearly remember when the military police came knocking and carried me off in front of my mother. Little did I know that was the last time I would see her face. After being released from jail, I haven't had any contact with Miss Yin. I couldn't believe it at first, but I heard she had passed away abroad due to lung cancer. Like with my father, only after seeing her ashes with my own eyes was I able to realize I had lost a familiar part of my heart forever. Uh, note entry, excerpt. That time in fear forcing herself to breed hatred. Who knew that she would take that leap and leave this world behind? Nary a last word because of fear, remorse, the reason remains undecided. Oh, this is that same note. I already read this. It doesn't matter what I was feeling back then. Only pain and sadness remain. Well, that is... That makes sense. This is your last trick. I guess this is your goodbye to the one who did it all to you. And this was her... Oh, I gotta go up here. I gotta take his trek through it now, too. Oh. Time, it rots everything away. Even I cannot hide from it. Very Silent Hill-like in its, in its premise here. The school acting as a purgatory for someone who sent a lot of people and ruin lives. Ruin the lives of people who just wanted to be free out of essentially her own selfishness. Although I, considering what Yin did, I can't say it's completely innocent. But not deserving of that. I mean, that's, this is one of those 
I don't know. I feel like there's a bit of a big picture thing here, but it's still hard to say. At least you're not dead. No, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not a condolence. It... It's not a condolence at all. At least she is in a personal hell for what she did. And that place is filled with puppet monsters. You may have been in jail, but she's spending an eternity with puppet monsters. classroom. that means. I guess that kind of says all it needs to say. I mean, it's very obvious she killed herself after everything that happened. He is a, like he said himself, a decrepit, broken man. I think the saddest part of all is the fact that a story like that happened and the only result of it is that it left behind broken people both living and dead. too real. Too real of a situation that happens because of something like that martial law thing. I go back to what I said earlier. I want fantasies about monsters that don't exist, not about atrocities that do. I can shoot fake monsters with fake shotguns. I can't do anything about real monsters. At least it, it seemed like her hell was over. And since he's, I'm guessing he's the last guy affected by it alive, so. That's something. Why did everything change? What is all this? Huh. Well, that is the other ending to Detention. That feels like the, as close to a good ending as you're going to get for this. Considering he's... Like, I... That's... That's all I can say about it. I've said my... I got nothing else to say. I have... I... That was better... This game was way better than I thought it would be. Both in the horror things and... Once it got to the point where you were invested in the story, they stopped doing the cheap scares because the entire situation was just disturbing. And you start to realize, well, that the character you're playing is the technically the real monster. Good build-up. Good setup. Good everything. I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Later.